Hi guys, Michael here. Sorry about my voice, I'm a little bit under the weather. But nonetheless, I'm making this video for you. Um, so in this video, we're going to talk about list cleaning in Klaviyo. There's something that we need to face. And that is that we will probably lose 25 to 30% of our list members, subscribers every year, which is called churn rate. And this is why it's so important to practice list cleaning where you basically remove inactive, unengaged subscribers who are never going to open your emails, let alone click through to your offers. And in this video, I'll walk you through the basics of list cleaning, which includes the purpose of list cleaning in the first place, how to know when to do it, how frequently to do it, and also the benefits of doing it. And at the end, I'll break down the entire process of list cleaning step by step for you. Let's go. The goal with email scrubbing is to reduce the size of your email list so that you're not sending emails to unengaged subscribers. Right? Although the size of your email list will become smaller, it ensures that the people who actually receive your emails legitimately want them in their inboxes and are very likely to engage. In turn, this should translate into higher open rates and click-through rates, while at the same time reducing the number of people who mark your emails as spam. We don't want that. In the long term, this should have a positive impact on your overall lead quality and conversion rate. You can think of this as email hygiene, where you periodically clean up your list so that you're only marketing to people who are truly interested. Before you start removing subscribers left and right, you first need to make sure that your list needs to be clean. Here are the three signs to look out for. Number one, a noticeable decline in your open rate, click-through rate or both. Number two, a high number of recent spam complaints. And number three, a large number of people have recently unsubscribed. If any of these things are happening, then it's time for list cleaning. How frequently you should do it. Every email campaign is a little different, so obviously the frequency can vary from brand to brand. But for most brands, list cleaning should be done once every six months. However, if your list is growing at a rapid rate, maybe you are investing a lot into paid advertising, then you should probably do it every three or four months. I've already mentioned that email scrubbing boosts engagement by removing inactive subscribers, but here are some of the other benefits that you get from, from regular uh, list cleaning. For starters, you should see a significant spike in your open rate and click-through rate. By ensuring your emails are only delivered to subscribers who truly want them, you can naturally expect a larger percentage of people to open your messages, read them, and ultimately check out your products and offers. List cleaning leads to fewer spam complaints and a better sender reputation. Oftentimes, subscribers who are no longer interested in receiving emails from you will mark them as spam because it's easier to do it than un unsubscribing. The problem with that is that many email providers like Google and Yahoo lock these spam complaints. When this happens at scale, they can start automatically sending your emails to people's spam folders. So if you're routinely cleaning your email list, you should be able to dramatically decrease the number of spam complaints, which will improve your sender reputation, which means fewer emails get to spam, which means more people buy your products. This also increases your email deliverability rate, which is something that we all want. Finally, you can actually save money from regular list cleaning and increase your ROI. Most email service providers charge you based on the number of emails you send out or the number of subscribers that you have. So by trimming the fat from your list, you're not wasting money sending emails to subscribers who aren't actually interested. This means you get more bang for your buck and you're only marketing to highly engaged subscribers. Okay, now that you have a basic idea of what list cleaning is, what its purpose is, what are the benefits, let's get down to the nitty gritty of how it's done. Here is how the process works. First, you have to define your inactive subscribers and segment them from the rest of your active subscribers. 
There is no hard rule on determining who's inactive, but as a rule of thumb, 90 days is a pretty good number to aim for. If someone has not opened a single email in the last 90 days, odds are they're no longer interested and they should probably be removed. The only exception will be if you're sending emails at an extremely low frequency rate, meaning less than one per month or one per month. But if you're sending at least one email per week, then 90 days is definitely a safe number. Now, here are a few tips about creating segments for inactive subscribers. I'll give you three ideas. So the first segment that we're going to create is called the never active segment. The criteria is no emails opened in the last 180 days, no purchases in the last 180 days. The action we're going to take is to delete email addresses from the list. Segment number two, we'll call it unengaged, never purchased. The criteria is at least one email opened, has clicked on the email at least once, no emails opened in the last 180 days, never purchased. First, we're going to send a sunset email and then we're going to delete those email addresses from the list if they don't respond to the sunset email. If you don't know what a sunset email is, just Google it or just wait for some of my next videos where I'll cover it in great detail. Third and final segment we're going to create is called unengaged purchase segment. The criteria is at least one email opened, has clicked on the email at least once, has purchased at least once, no emails opened in the last 180 days, no purchases in the last 60 days. The action we're going to take is we're going to send a re-engagement campaign, we're going to send a sunset email if there is no response, and then we'll delete those email addresses from the list if they don't respond to the sunset email. Okay, another thing we can do is we can delete duplicate spam and misspelled email addresses. So in addition to selecting inactive subscribers to remove, you also want to remove duplicate spam and misspelled email addresses. Sometimes you have an instance where a subscriber forgets that they've already subscribed to your newsletter and they will mistakenly do it twice which will result in a duplicate address. The problem with spam address is that it, it means you end up spending extra money sending messages to fake subscribers who don't actually exist. And as we discussed earlier, this will hurt your ROI. As for misspelled email addresses, they're problematic because subscribers won't actually receive your messages. They will bounce. In turn, this creates deliverability issues and can hurt your sender reputation score. So in conclusion, no matter how great your email marketing is and how good your offers are, a considerable percentage of your subscribers will ultimately lose interest. A slight decline in engagement is usually no reason for alarm, but there comes a time where a subscriber should officially be classified as inactive and removed. If you allow inactive subscribers to hang around, it can affect your campaigns and flows in several ways. And that's where list cleaning comes in. By making it a habit to clean your email list routinely, you can remove subscribers who fail to engage and ensure you're sending content only to qualified leads who are genuinely interested in your brand and are very likely to purchase. You just need to define who inactive subscribers are, segment them, win back whoever you can, and ultimately remove those who still aren't responding. The end result should be a much higher quality email list and better leads. So that's it for now. Hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned because I've got a lot of great videos in the pipeline for you, which I'll be releasing soon. I'll see you in the next video.